Start the 18K PV. As y'all know, I did the upgrade program, traded in some grow watts. If you're interested in the upgrade program, the EG4 6000 or the 6500EX or the grow watt ES5000s, you can trade those in and you get an 18K to, uh, for any of those units and you get the 6000 XPs if you got the 6000 or, or 6500EX version. So if you're interested in that, you basically get a deal, get 18K for three grand, it's a $5,200 inverter, or you get the 6,000 XP for like 750, and it's a $1,500 inverter. So if you're interested in the upgrade, hey, I'll link a video above, go check that out. But we're gonna be going over to this video, what I'm doing with the upgrade and my planning for it. So as you can see right here, I'm over at my parents' house and we got a delivery of some solar panels. We got a Power Pro battery and we got the conduit box. So I'm going to be installing that in their house with the EG4 18K. So let's go around and try to do some planning for that. Basically, I'm out here planning, trying to figure out where I'm going to put all this stuff at. And while the stuff is rated to mount on the outside, probably not going to do that. Probably going to end up putting it in their sunroom right here to the side, just so it'll be out of the weather. All right, now here in the garage bathroom for their pool is where the main panel's at for their house. They also have another meter that goes through their pool, but we're gonna to try to install a secondary panel, basically a critical loads panel, basically right here next to this one, this main panel. As you can see, their main panel is pretty full. Gonna put a critical loads panel over here for the 18K to run off of. Then probably take some conduit, run it back here behind their water heater, basically into their sunroom through the wall back here and they got some brick on the other side of this drill a hole through that with some conduit so then we can have the ac power come from this panel and then the critical loads panel that'll be right next to it be able to run the loads from the 18k and i'm gonna show you where i'm probably gonna install this thing in their little sunroom they got this little sunroom on the back here it used to be a porch probably somewhere right in here on the wall and on the other side of this wall right here is the electrical panel. So definitely be able to fit the 18K right there and the battery beneath it. And if they want to add additional battery, be able to put that to the side. They just had this pool done last year. So they have another meter box over here on the other side, but it only has basically this pool on it. So we want to try to get on the main part of our house. So right there to the left is the sunroom. And you know, this is where all the electrical is coming in. That's the main uh, service entry meter for the main panel right there. So either we'll be able to go straight through the wall on the outside right here and then go to the sunroom uh, uh, this way or be able to stay on the inside and just run it through like I was saying on the inside behind the water heater. That's probably the best option. So what do you think so far about my ideas about where to put this 18K? I'm gonna try to help my parents out, save them some money and if the grid ever goes down, to be a little more self-reliant because we'll be able to run some power, run some loads. You know, we'll probably put the loads over there like probably their air conditioner, TV, internet. We'll see how many loads this 18K can run. Everything you can run, we're basically gonna put over there as long as it's not gonna overload. And of course, I'm gonna have grid power going into the 18K. So if the battery's not enough, it'll be able to charge it at night or just do the, the pass through enough for the loads that we have on it. And of course, right now we only have the one Power Pro battery. So of course it ain't gonna last all night trying to run a lot of stuff, but it's definitely better than nothing to get started. And you can always add another one on. I'm just trying to get my family started in solar. And if they're more interested, you know, in getting more, if they like it, hey, we can always upgrade in the future. But this was the least expensive way to get them going, you know, able to get this inverter for a deal form, $3,000 for an 18K, because I traded in my stuff. And they're gonna be able to go ahead and use this thing and power quite a few loads on their house. The biggest problem is gonna be, got a whole pallet for the Hyundai bifacial panels. They're 395 watt. I think they go up to maybe like 470, 480. I have to look it up again with the bifacial. So got a whole pallet of them, and I don't know if we have enough room to install them all. Probably gonna try to at least install half of these to start with, and then we'll see what they wanna do. They don't wanna cover up their whole backyard next to the pool with the panels, but that may end up happening, you know, if they want the most power possible. They were talking about putting some of these on the roof, but of course the bifacial panels are gonna do a lot better on the ground mount. So maybe we can just do 
like a kind of a lean-to structure that they'll be able to be under. So I busted open the box for the Power Pro to get the manual out so I can start looking through this. So in the next video, hopefully we'll be installing this thing and being able to test it out. So what do you guys think of the upgrade program? I think it's a deal. If you are a part of the program or if you're thinking about being a part of that program and upgrading, hey, let me know down in the comments below. And remember, I have all this stuff linked up down in the description. And anybody using my links, I appreciate it because I'm able to get a little bit of a commission off of those sales. And it helps me to buy more stuff, install more solar, you know, to bring more videos to you. And if you like this kind of video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and thanks for watching.